How's everybody doing today? Um, had a few people ask how to do the post on the corner. We're gonna go over that. We're also going to go over how to do um, wallpapers on both sides of a wall. And uh, if you stay tuned near the end, we'll show how to place walls across floors, which is kind of a pain, but can really add to the camp. So. Um, to do the, the post on the corner is kind of a pain. You will need stairs. You need to stair up. We'll just put a wall in so we have an idea of, of what all is going on here. I don't think I can do a roof here. Well, hey, we'll let me put a roof. But we're going to need stairs and then we'll need floors. And then you'll take place a floor there a little offset a little offset and then you take your stair post and since this basically what happens is these posts want to go in specific places along the floor and these posts will float so you can literally place them anywhere you want but they don't want to go in the corner by themselves so as long as you give a corner place to post this like on the corner of that, and this will even let you, sometimes you have to use a short one, you can go all the way to the ground, and then you take that away, and you have a post on the corner. Pretty simple. And this will literally float, so you can, you can't attach anything to it, but you can use it as a snapping point if you take everything away. So, you can literally have just post. But let's put the floor Four back drums. in. But this will give, if I remove this, you can snap floors to it, but it won't snap exactly in the right way. But that's how you do post all the way on the corner. I've yet to kind of dial in how to get, let's say like a carport would just post. I'm sure I'll figure that out eventually. So the next one is how to do wallpaper on both sides of a wall. It's incredibly easy, but it, you can't do it with the straight wood walls. Um, you can do it with any of the others. So you just need a joining of floors. You place a doorway. Spin around your doorway. That is literally it. And then you can wallpaper both sides because it's two walls. It does take more budget, but you can have wallpaper on both sides of the wall. Um, it adds a little bit of a, a nice element to it, especially if you want to fully set the house up. In reality, what would be amazing is if they would completely redo the wall system. Um, what I'd love to see them do is take and do a wall frame and allow us to put the skin on either side that we want that way we don't have to have two walls to get what we want so and then once you have your wall placed you go to store and then you hit t to replace and convert it to a wall and then now you have completely solid walls um, do make sure that if you're running electrical or wall decorations that you place them before you place the wallpaper. If not, it will take them down. All right, for a bonus, if you want to have unique sized rooms instead of your standard squares, there are some caveats and there are some issues, but um, this will let you have unique room sizes. Um, but planning around it is kind of a pain so do with it what you will I do this quite a bit I like actually making a uh, actually like making a uh, a room with closets so and I'll show you how to do that it's easier to do it on an upper floor but I will show you how to do it on a lower floor in just a second um, you will need 
floor, let's say you're, if I want to do it here, I'm going to need um, floors on the side. That way I can move the, the floor underneath because that's how this trick works. So you need all doorways. So doorway, doorway, doorway. And what you do is since you have all doorways, you can shuffle the floor out of the way. And since I have, since I want to do double, let me put in more floors so this doesn't get weird. It is easier with bigger room or bigger foundations, but I'm just going to shuffle that. Oops, fell through. No biggie. And it's going to be double do mirror up here. Worry, and then I can do the doubled up wall. And then you just move them back. And then I'm not actually going to do those on the outside. We're going to get rid of those. Because we're going to keep this space small. Add in a few more walls. Because we're going to... And then I'll show you how this lays out. So transform. I don't normally like these. Let's just make this wood. wallpaper and what do we do I like the dark and now you have a unique sized room and then let's let's just do carpet so you can see you can still do the floors and now you have an unusual room size you can make this bigger or smaller but the process is the same you can also do this to make hallways, though your planning around everything is kind of a pain. But there is only one flaw to this design, and you can factor this in. If you're doing another floor above it, then you can do like the short floors to cover that. But a roof, a flat roof panel, will not cover. You can place one there. Sometimes you can get these to double stack and, and merge in, um, but it will not cover that. Uh, I know that if you use the flamethrower trick, you might get it to... It just doesn't want to cover that, so... But you can... You can use the... You can use these... You can also do these. Um, I'd say if you're doing like a single, single sized room or one. You can do that. Like if you're making just a single, like a two, a two floor house, like a small little trailer type deal. That is just a really clean room shape with this. Okay, if you want to do, if you want to do this with foundations, it is a little trickier, but it is doable. Let's get rid of all this. Because let's say you want a single floor. What you're going to do, I'm going to move these around. Is you will need to use the floors and stairs and you'll use the stair since see that doesn't want to go you can take the stairs see I've offset this you take the stair down you'll put in your walls I don't have the other walls on this character but I can still show you with the barn walls I use this character because it has more budget. <laughs> yeah, 
and you can't use wallpapers in the workshop, so. So you'd put in all your walls, and then you use the stair as your snapping point, and then you can put in your other wall and snap it back. And then you can remove the stair, put your foundation back in, and continue your build. And then I'll just finish this off as a nice little small Make this little This looks crazy, but it will pay off in just a quick second here. wood. And since this is a closet, you don't actually need to, um, you won't need to do the other side because you're probably not going to be standing on the inside. But I actually like using the, the barn set uh, because of the framed doorway. So let's just wallpaper this with the dark. Actually, we'll do the white. If you have the white oh, wallpaper. That got weird for a second. And we'll make this floor the dark wood. And then now you have a nice little small two box cabin with an unusual room size. And you know, that's just finish this off nice and simply let's put in a small stair actually let's do finish up the corners that way it looks nice let's just put a small stair and then if you've taken over the racetrack and got your defenses we will do And this is just an incredibly clean, simple build that you could knock out and have a unique space that most people would not pay attention to, but it gives you a cool little spot to work with. Like you could put the toilet in here. I don't know if there's room for the shower or the tub, but you could put a toilet in here, you could put shelves in here, make it like a closet. You can still put a door, door in there. Um, I normally don't put doors on anything. I don't like keeping people out. But that is how that is done. Um, 
if anybody has any questions on any of this, uh, definitely, definitely feel free to leave it in comments. Um, I do stream on Twitch. I stream every single day for the most part at 9 p.m. Central. Be, be sure to follow me there. Um, and my next video, I'm probably, well, on the next few videos, I'm going to do a overview on electrical. Um, we can show, uh, I have a few more other neat little tip, uh, tips and tricks to show in camp building. Um, electrical is going to be a big one. That's probably going to be a longer video to show a little bit more of stuff to do with the conduit system and all of that. And then, um, later I will show in a following video how to double stack roof pieces and some other really cool tricks um that the game doesn't normally let you do but if you have one of the uh turrets the game will bend to your will but again i will catch you guys next time don't forget to to subscribe and like the video if you would i'd really appreciate y'all have a good one i'll catch you next time